Congresswoman Ilan Omar continues to break, break rules of law and decorum, apparently, according to people who are paying attention to her. And this is a whole new game uh, with the new Congress that came in in January. Uh, we're chatting more about it with Barry Nussbaum of the American Truth Project. Apparently, she continues to break rules of law and decorum. She is fined by the state of Minnesota. That's her district. That's her area. That's her state for campaign finance violations. And, uh, you know, a local paper wrote a scathing editorial about her brazen behavior, and a lot of people do say it is brazen behavior. Fraudulent tax returns with a man, um, not yet her husband, but returns are joint as if they are married. Is, is this a dude that might be her brother, Barry? I mean, what the heck? Yeah, there, there's, a, there's like three stories wrapped up in one. Right. Uh, she's the obnoxious gift that keeps on giving oh, just sure. when you think she's going to be normal. She's not. Uh, the local paper did an expose that uh, the state of Minnesota has fined her the maximum under the law for dipping into campaign funds and spending the money on herself. So that's problem number one. Herself? Do we know what? Was it manicures and, and uh, clothing and scarves or what? It, it, what the, uh, the state of Minnesota um, commission that, that regulates this said it was on personal travel and personal expenses that are illegal under Minnesota law. <laughs> so basically she was using campaign money as her piggy bank. Yeah. That's problem one. She's going to have to pay about $3,500 in fines. Problem number two is that she filed joint tax returns <laughs> with someone that she said was her husband when she hadn't yet married that guy who was she was still married to another guy that there's a, a substantial amount of evidence that other guy is her brother and that that sham marriage was put together in order for her to receive her immigration and citizenship status um, because he was ahead of her in the process. So once that paperwork came through, she dumped the brother in favor of the new guy, filed a joint tax return, but guess what? They weren't married. That's not legal. So now the IRS is looking into the brother marriage issue and the tax return issue. In addition, a number of publications, starting with the Associated Press, is saying, we want to see the tax return. We want to see how you filed. She's refusing to give up those tax returns. However, on a daily, uh, consistent basis, she proclaims if Donald Trump doesn't give up his tax returns, well, he... Oh should be impeached. And that's just the start of her problems. Uh, she, she came out with a, a press release um, in favor of confiscation of guns, saying 500 people a day are killed in this country by guns. Um, massive amount of statistics are coming out now that on an annual basis, annualized from last year, uh, and as a snapshot, she's exaggerated her statistics by somewhere uh, in excess of 500%. But you're not allowed to confuse facts with emotion. She's emotionally right. Therefore, her facts really shouldn't matter so much. It's, it's, it's a really, really bizarre way to deal with your critics by just saying, hey, stop it. Uh, I used to say whatever I want. AOC did something like that before. She said, well, it may not have been true, but, you know, that my heart was in it or something. Just, just, exactly. You can't make this stuff up, right? But going back, you almost need a flow chart for that. We've been hearing for months about her, her marrying her brother for the immigration status, et cetera. But I guess uh, she married one guy legally at the same time filing a joint tax return with that different guy. Well, and... she was still married to the other guy, whoever <laughs> he is. That's, that's bigamy in every state in the country. Uh, you wonder if anything will really happen or if it'll just, she'll get away with it and it'll get swept under the rug. What do you think? I don't know. She, she does so many weird things and <laughs> such things that have no semblance of any fact. For example, um, in the past couple of weeks, the president has come out with a merit-based immigration plan, sure. yeah. um, which in frankness is not very revolutionary. Mm -hmm. Trump actually said he's copying the rest of the world. It's almost other, common sense, and why don't we do it? As he says, we have the most ridiculous immigration and asylum laws anywhere. Don't you think we should get the best and the brightest who should qualify to come to our country, like mm -hmm. Australia and Canada and, yeah. and so on? And if you want 
permanent status, you got to bring something to the table, not just climb over the fence or dig a hole under the fence. Mm -hmm. So when he comes out with the statement saying, I want merit based immigration, which is the best of the best ought to get in first. Elon Omar comes out and says, that's racist. Oh, Why is it that. racist? Because it'll limit the amount of the people coming in that are unqualified to be in this country. So what's that and mean? She's Because she's she pointed to Latinos. Are she saying Latinos are dumber than the rest? Because it sounds like she's being racist. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's you're making a very wise point. If it's racist, that means the people that she's trying to protect in other words, they should keep their immigration status, as you said, Latinas and Latinos coming from South and Central America. She doesn't think they qualify. She doesn't think they're good enough to make it under a merit-based system. So according to the esteemed representative from Minnesota, everybody ought to get in without any qualifications, because if you qualify people, well, then, Amy, you are a racist. Oh.